one of the biggest debate in atmos speakers is that which type of speaker should you exactly go for now one on one side we have the ceiling speaker which we have been using for a very very long time and on the other hand we have got the atmos height channel speakers now if this is a question that you all also have as a home theater buyer then make sure to watch this video till the end also towards the end of the video i am going to help you get a fantastic guide which talks about atmos speaker placements and gives you lot of insights so make sure to watch the video till the end now let us first understand where do you need atmos speaker now we all know that home theater is in a standard format of 5.1 or anything above that 5.1 is where in all the five speakers are at your ear levels and anything which has got 5.1.2 7.1.2 7.2.4 7 all these other configurations is wherein you will see atmos coming out very very strongly and in these channels one of the biggest question is that ceiling speaker or the high channel speakers for the front or the surround which one should you go for now let us understand the pros and cons of each category of these speakers let's start with the ceiling speaker the pros of ceiling speaker is that it provides you with an immersive surround sound which is actually coming right from the above because so ceiling speakers will typically be placed right above your head or maybe 2 3 feet here and there in the front or at the back so that gives a very very nice immersive surround sound experience the second advantage of ceiling speaker is that in the visual appearance it is going to be very very neat and tidy because what you will see is only the grill of the speaker the rest of the part will go hidden into the false ceiling the third advantage of ceiling speaker is that it has got a wider sound dispersion now why wider imagine when you have a ceiling light throwing the light across the entire floor it gives a con conical dispersion and that conical dispersion is pretty big in size compared to a wall mount speaker so with these three advantages the ceiling speaker is definitely a good choice having said that let us now listen to the cons also of ceiling speaker the first drawback of any ceiling speaker is that it requires a false ceiling depth of minimum 4 inches or above based upon the ceiling speaker that you are going for the second drawback is that it also requires the cables to be laid all the way where you are sitting so that means from the amplifier to the speaker position which is going to be right above you now these two things may not be feasible for each and every one especially for those who are already living into that space and cannot have all this wiring and false ceiling provisions the third drawback of the ceiling speaker is that it is not going to give you the best sound codec according to dolby standards now i know you would be surprised to listen to this theory as well but i'll tell you something when the sound processing happens in a studio especially the atmos files they do not have a provision which is marked right into the ceiling they take the corner walls as the provision and that is where the oro 3d's specification of having the height channels on the wall really gives you a much more real life like experience and the fourth drawback of any ceiling speaker is that once you do the cut out you cannot go back which means that the position is going to be permanent and the room sitting arrangement can never be changed now if the pros and cons of ceiling speaker are very very clear to you let us jump on to the atmos height channel speakers now the height channel speakers biggest advantage is that they are very very flexible in terms of installation for instance you can mount them easily onto the wall as well as you can keep them above your bookshelf or floor standing speakers making sure that the atmos sound is still delivered properly the second advantage of any height speaker is that they are extremely adaptable to any room changes for instance if you change the sitting orientation or you move the chairs a little ahead or towards the back you can adjust the height speakers accordingly The third advantage which is one of the biggest advantage of any height speaker is that it works right according to the Dolby Atmos codec wherein you can mount it right close to the wall which is going to be the ideal height channel placement so even for atmos if you are sitting far away you can put them on the side but right close to the ceiling so that they angle down from the top and give you the right atmos experience now if these were the advantages for height channel speakers there are some disadvantages as well the first and the biggest disadvantage of any height speaker is that they are going to be visually seen each and every time that means that you cannot hide them they are going to pop out from the wall and you have to be really okay with it the second drawback of any height speaker is that they do not have a wide coverage as much as you get from a ceiling speaker 
So this limited coverage angle will ensure to give the good Atmos experience only to certain number of seats which are right positioned into that angle of the speaker. Now while these were the pros and cons of both the ceiling speakers and the Atmos height speakers, let us consider some of the factors which will help you make the right decisions. The first factor is the cost. Now cost of a ceiling speaker which will generate an equal amount of power output like a high channel speaker is going to be very very high. That's why the high channel speakers are always going to be a easier to buy option especially for your pockets. The second factor has got to do more with your aesthetics of the room. For instance, if you are someone who do not want to have any speaker seen, then you would definitely want to go for ceiling speakers. And to those of you for whom the appearance is not important but the functionality is more important, then definitely high channel speakers is something which you should go for. The third and the most important factor is room size and shape. Now room size and shape plays a very crucial role in selecting the ceiling speakers or height speakers. If you are sitting at a distance of anything less than 15 feet, always go for height speakers. If you are sitting at a distance of more than that, then you would want to go for ceiling speakers which can be the flat ceiling speakers or even an angled in ceiling speaker. And the last and the final factor which will help you decide between a ceiling speaker and Atmos height speaker is the room configuration or the system configuration. For instance, if you are willing to build a 5.1.2 Atmos home theater system in the living room wherein you are sitting at a distance of more than 15 feet, then you don't mind going for a ceiling speaker for your Atmos experience. But in case you are going for more number of channels, which is 4 channel or 6 channel for Atmos, then in that case, you can explore the possibility of putting the height speakers for the front as well as for the rear. Now, these two speakers can actually give you a much more better experience, especially when the number of channels are more in the ceiling. As promised at the start of the video, if you are willing to download the Atmos guidebook, then make sure to check the pinned comment right now. And in case you found value in this video and it helped you make right decisions, then don't forget to hit the like button along with the subscribe button. That's it from my end. Thank you so much for watching. I, Tanmay Mehta, your home cinema consultant or home theater wale bhaiya. We'll see you again in the next video. Thank you.